Hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here. Um, we are actually going to get ready to start uh, doing part two of processing processing our processor pins. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put each one of these in a separate jar. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some HCL on them to uh, get rid of this tin. Now I've got some HCL in a bottle over here that I've already used to do this so we're just going to pour some of this in to each one of these. And as you can see we're probably going to get straight away a little bit of a reaction. Go ahead and mix that up. And we're just going to let these pretty much sit in here for a little while. I'm going to put a little bit more in this one because we do have quite a lot of quite a lot of pins in there. So we're going to go ahead and let that stuff go. Um, I'm going to see how they do in an hour or two or an hour. I may actually <coughs> put these other ones on the burner for a little bit. But I don't know for sure yet. I've got my warmers turned on. In fact, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It'll save some time. Uh, so let me get my pans and stuff and we'll put these on the warmers and I'll be right back at you. Okay guys, I got my pan set up here um, and I got my other warmer on over here. I actually just put these in a pan. I'm not going to heat them up enough that I'm going to worry about the jars breaking. Um, I got this in a pan more or less just because it spreads it out over the burner so I can get some heat on both of these at the same time with just the one burner. Um, we're already getting a pretty good reaction out of these, so I'm going to go ahead and let this play out for a little while. Um, let this tin get eaten off of these pins, and then we're going to process these with nitric acid. So we will get back at you guys, oh, probably, well, you know, it's always just going to be a second or two for you, but it's probably going to be a couple hours. I'm going to let these go. I'm going to make sure I get rid of that tin. So we will be back at you guys in just a bit. Okay guys, well we have our pins rinsed, um, this was our approximately, I guess it was 107 grams, this was about 40 and this was a little less than 20 grams. They all reacted different to the magnet so I'm actually going to do them in separate containers. Um, I've got 300 mils of nitric here, uh, it may take a little bit more. Uh, I've got about 100 mils of water in here, I've got about 40 mils in here, and a little about 20 mils in here, 20, 25 mils. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start adding our acid, um, and we're just going to let these go. I'm going to, I've got the blow-off fan on behind me, because these are going to react fast. And we are just going to keep adding that acid and get our foils off of these pins and let them work. And then we're going to refine our foils down. So I'll let you guys watch this for a bit and see what kind of different colors we get here. Looks like we're getting copper down there. Go ahead and add a little bit more acid to this one.
center one just isn't getting much of a reaction. See, that's exactly why what you're seeing right here is exactly why I like to do things this way. Now you look at these two and the reaction we're getting, and you look at these, almost nothing. So we're just going to leave that sit for a little while, let that acid soak through, find its way through those foils somewhere, but we're going to leave it be for a bit. Okay guys, we'll get back at you in just a few minutes. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you that our reactions are going pretty good. Um, the bigger beaker, we just it's just on its own, it didn't need any heat. The one that was, I believe, are the iron pins. Um, I actually had to put it on the burner and turn it on a little bit to get them to start working. And it is working now. And our other little bit, you can see we're actually starting to break some foils loose there. This one's almost ready for a little bit more acid. And this one's almost ready for a bit more acid. So I'm just going to continue to let these play out and work. Uh, i got to keep an eye on that one on the burner because I don't know how it's going to react. I'm actually going to turn it back down a little bit because I put a lot more acid in that because it wasn't doing anything. So anyhow, we're getting some flo foils floating up here. We got foils in our little one. And we'll get back at you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you what was going on with that one that wasn't doing a thing. This is why you got to be so careful doing this stuff. Look at that reaction. I mean, we are just, if I'd have put a little more acid in there, we probably would have had a real problem. I actually did have to, you know, get it off of the burner and put it in a stainless steel pot just in case it does blow over. I mean, it's creeping its way up. Let's see if I can get this so you can see how, see what's going on there. You see how fast things can change? This is why you got to be so careful when you're doing stuff like this. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how we went from nothing to almost blowing out of the jar. So we will get back at you guys in just a bit. Okay, we are back. I just added a little bit more nitric acid to these two. They're doing just fine. Um, our one that we had to put in the pot. Let me go grab it real quick. It has actually, I don't know if you can see that, but still got a lot of knocks in there, but there's a lot of foils up on the edge of that. Let me see if I can get this out of here and we'll take a look at it. Well, I can't even touch that beaker hardly. I got it out. I had to put it right down. It is very hot. I just want to show you you see how the foils are all up on the sides? And that beaker is really, really hot. So that's what I mean. You never know what kind of a reaction you're going to get. So you really have to go slow with this stuff. I mean, I'll tell you, if I'd have put another 10 mils of nitric in this, I truly believe if I put 10 more in here, that would have blown right out of the jar. So I'm going to rinse these off over here, <clears throat> off camera. Um, we're going to actually add a touch more, and I mean just a touch more nitric to this one. We're going to leave it in this stainless steel pot because I really don't trust it. Our other two are doing just fine. I'm going to just put a drop of nitric in here. See if we get any more reaction. And I'm going to put this one back out in the sunshine and just let it do its thing.
Okay, guys, we'll get back to you in just a little bit. Hey, guys, very quickly, I don't know if you can see the color of that fluid in the bottom of that, the biggest beaker there, but it is actually kind of a, a greenish blue. Um, I don't really know how to describe it other than that, but a dark greenish blue. Move over to this one. It is so green it is almost black. You know, like a blackish, brownish green. And then you move over to that little guy, and it is a really bright blue. So, that, again, is why I chose to do it this way. I know a lot of people would just throw them all together into one. But here you can see our one going nuts again. I added a little bit of acid a while back, and now it's finally kicking off. I guess the temperature got right. So, we're just going to continue to let these process out. Uh, I'm not going to bother you with this anymore. But I did want to show you that we do have three distinct different colors. So that tells me we had three distinct different kinds of pins. Okay, guys, I will get back at you in a bit. See that one climbing up there? Got to be careful. Man, have to pick that up and get it off of there for a minute. All right, guys, we'll be back at you in a bit. Okay, everybody, several hours has passed. Um, we're actually still getting a reaction with these iron pins, or the ones that were really highly magnetic. I still got some solids down there. Um, I'm going to let them continue on. Um, I've actually already put in probably 150 or 200 milliliters more nitric than I thought I was going to use. I'm up to about 600 milliliters. And it's because of those. They are just not dissolving. Um, our other stuff is filtering out. Um, also, it appears there was a lot more tin left than I thought there was. I actually did a test up here. I don't know if you can see the little one right there. But I did a small test to see if... Uh, how much tin was left and we do have some tin chloride in the bottom of that beaker so our chlorauric acid filter is probably going to take forever so what I'm going to do is go ahead and let this finish out this is almost done these guys are almost finished finally we're going to filter it off you can see we got a distinctly different color solution from that almost looks like maybe some nickel and iron um, but we're going to let these finish out. I am going to go ahead and put them in aqua regia um, when they filter out. Uh, and I will show you that process when we get to it. Um, filtering the aqua regia or the chlororic acid, I'm not going to bother with because it's going to take forever with all the tin that's in there. Alrighty guys, so we'll get back to you. It's probably going to be about another half an hour or 45 minutes. And uh, then we'll go ahead and put the rest of this stuff in aqua regia. So we'll get back at you then. Okay, guys, we are going to prepare our filters. We're putting them in aqua regia. Uh, I'm actually going to cut this out. Move those down a little bit. scissors from sitting out here. Hopefully I can still use them to cut this. And we've got a lot of tin, so... But, that happens. So I'm actually going to just cut this out and throw this in a beaker. I'm going to pull this other one out. We're going to let that last one that's 
still cooking up there. Filter off. It's ready. And we will be ready to dissolve our gold. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in this beaker right there, just like that. And then we are going to do this little guy here. Clean this off. Set this out of the way. Drop that in there. Okay, guys, we got this other one filter off. We're gonna scissor it off now. Wash these little bits of gold we got down in there. Alrighty, and we are set to go. I don't know if you can see that one. Well, we're going to go ahead and cut this one off. Whoop, we got a little more gold there. A little bit more gold. Okay. Now we'll cut this one off as close as we can. Very hard to feel anything when you're working with gloves. But I'm just going to throw it in there before I end up dumping the gold out. So, there we go. We are going to go ahead and put this down in there, like so. Hit it with some hydrochloric. I'll go ahead and take these gloves off. doing anything else that we need them tonight. Let me go ahead and put some hydrochloric acid in here. And we should get some pretty much instant reaction because we already had some nitric in the filters. ahead and put a little more nitric in there. I actually have a little left here so we can put a little drip or two in. Okay guys, we're going to just let this dissolve now, and we will get back at you in a few minutes. Okay guys, you can see our stuff is dissolving. I can feel, like I said, a lot of, I believe there's quite a bit of tin was still left in here. I thought I got it all with... Uh, with my cleaning when I did the, you know, put the HCL in first to clean it, but apparently I didn't. Um, we're going to let that go like that. I'm going to go ahead and add this other little guy to it now. see see that cloudy that's all that's tin chloride and that's because we didn't get rid of all that tin Go ahead and put that in there but anyway it's still working out it's just going to take longer to filter and we'll have to uh, process it again we'll have to run it 
you know, maybe twice, make sure we get it good and clean. Um, after I filter it, what I'm going to do is drop some sulfuric acid in it and then filter it again so that we can be sure we drop out any lead and we'll just refine it twice that's all so we're gonna let this do run its course guys we'll get back at you when this is all completely dissolved and filtered out because it is gonna take forever to filter so I'm not gonna put you through that part okay guys it is the next morning um, this finally filtered out um, we have a little bit of green in there or green olive green kind of a brownish green um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit a little bit more I just putting a little bit more water in here just to make sure um, that we got all the gold out of that filter and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little couple drops of sulfuric acid to our chlorauric acid drop out any lead and then I'm going to filter it again so um, this video is getting a little long now so I'm going to go ahead and end it here and then our next video or our next segment will be um, actually dropping the gold and seeing what we got so you guys have a good one and we will see you in the next video